This is HRT 125, Plant Society, uh, Unit 12, Aromatherapy. Plants have been used uh, for thousands of years in different ways by humans. Uh, we have used them to prevent diseases, to promote healthy living. Uh, the big thing is that the oils that are in plants have been used to uh, make the human body rejuvenate itself, to to give it get rid of stress and to promote the feeling of well-being. We've been doing this for many years. Uh, it first started with the Egyptians. Uh, they wrote about this on the papyruses, about how they would use different plants to embalm the dead. Uh, they were wrapped in a plant, they were wrapped in linen, and then various other leaves were placed in there to help the body uh, reduce the bacteria that are there, and then consequently to reduce the aroma that was seen with uh, dead bodies. There was a whole system of different plants that the Egyptians utilized to help them take care of the dead. Ancient Greeks used this to, when there were plagues in the city. Athens was a notable example, which they wrote about. This was written down in many different books. Uh, one of the first ones was uh, uh, De Materia Medica, written by Discoides in the first century. Uh, where they were used it, mostly as a crushed leaves or crushed roots. Uh, but now, when they were purified, uh, this allowed them to be used and stored much easier. One of the first ones uh, that were written about were lavender. Uh, in the modern world, we named Marus Catafose used lavender to treat burns. He wrote about this in one of his books uh, where the word first appeared in print as aromatherapy. We still don't know exactly how this works, um, but along with many Chinese herbs, uh, they seem to work in a fashion we don't quite understand yet. What is aromatherapy? Uh, aromatherapy is utilizing these essential oils of the plant. Uh, this is a pine leaf. They're crushed. Uh, we use steam, we use boiling methods, we use different chemicals to get them out. It seems to relieve stress. It seems to uh, relieve nausea and many other different types of diseases, which I will list for you soon. There are about 150 of these. Uh, we do say that they must be natural. They cannot be man-made. They must come directly from the plant. And you'll see in some of the different videos that uh, I have put into your readings that you will see that a way how to create this for your own home use. These extensive essential oils that are there, you get them out most of the time with just pressure or steam. We occasionally see them mixed, which are the carrier oils. You mix this with olive oil. You might mix this with uh, uh, different vegetable oils uh, that don't change the nature of the essential oil. Uh, they just dilute it some. We have something called absolutes, where we take the oil from the plant using chemicals. How does it work? We think how it works by affecting the amygdala in the hippocampus in your brain. Now, if you can see here, these are actually more central and they affect both sides of the brain at the same time. The body reacts as a whole to the oil. It, whereas it doesn't cure the disease itself, it will actually help the body cure the disease. How 
Is it used? I can use it in different ways. We use it as massages. We use it as uh, compresses where we put it on clothing and uh, leave it attached to the body. Uh, we warm it up and place it on the body. We put it into our back. Uh, we put it on sticks where it's going to be uh, brought up into the air and sent the whole room. Illnesses are out there that we might treat. Well, we've seen that uh, by using lavender, we can relax. We can see using orange, rose, bergamot, lemon, sandalwood. Each of these have a very relaxing aroma out there. Uh, we see that it can relieve pain. By, by pain, I mean the pain from arthritis, back pain, shingles, migraine, fibromyalgia. And strengthen the immune system. It can relieve fatigue or depression. There are a huge variety of things that these essential oils may do. Some are proved, uh, some have not been proven yet. Many cultures would use this to treat infertility. We do know that neroli oil can actually help a patient undergoing colonoscopy. It does this by reducing blood pressure and anxiety among people. We also know that many women under labor will use peppermint oil to relieve nausea and vomiting. So there are many diseases out there, and this is just a small list of what disease they may treat. Here's a, 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 a large list of different plants that are out there. We'll talk about some of them. Uh, many of you are aware of many of these different smells that there are out there. Many of you asso associate some of these with different holidays. For example, sage. You might remember as being on turkeys for Thanksgiving. You might think of cinnamon for New Year's Eve for being in the punches that are there. You might think of uh, oranges, again, for different holiday parties. All these have different times of the year, which were there in bloom, or which they are, the leaves are much more fragrant, for which we then uh, think about using them. Uh, the different plants that are out there, we have the uh, Kanaga Ogorata, which we think of as uh, yang yang. It's a tree with these very fragrant uh, flowers out there. Um, it is harvested mostly for Chanel No. 5 and Moscou Rouge uh, perfumes. Um, it is the flowers themselves which are harvested. So again, it will only be that one time a year. And just the smell of perfumes uh, or honey which is inside leaves themselves so it takes a large quantity of flowers to get the, the perfumes and the essential oils. Uh, basil. We recognize this one uh, mostly in our cuisine. It's a fresh herb um, that is um, harvested uh, before it starts to produce flowers and um, seeds. It can be stored inside. Uh, many people will put it in plastic bags, we'll put it in the freezer. It's used very frequently in Italian cuisine, cuisine from Thailand, Indonesia, and uh, different um, Southern Asian countries. Um, we use it in other ways. We use it in the churches to uh, put it in holy water. We use it to protect against scorpions. Um, supposedly it adds strength to us while we're fasting. Uh, chamomile, uh, those of us who are doing chamomile, chamomile tea, realize it has an idea to help you relieve stress. Uh, many people will take it at nighttime to help them go to sleep. And they also have antiseptic properties as well as anti-inflammatory properties. Cinnamon, uh, this is the inner bark of the cinnamon tree. Uh, again, it 
been used for thousands of years. It was even written about in the Bible, uh, mixing with uh, uh, anointing oils. We've also found that it may work for uh, HIV disease. Uh, if diabetics take it uh, several times a day, it will control their uh, sugar levels. It may help with colon cancer and Alzheimer's disease. Ginger. Uh, ginger has been used, uh, especially in uh, Asia, uh, for many years to uh, help treat nausea. It was especially effective in treating uh, sea sickness, uh, morning sickness, and, and sicknesses from chemotherapy as your stomach reacted to the chemotherapy. It was the root of a plant. It may also help uh, with exercise pain uh, and may help with arthritis pain. It seems to have an effect uh, to stop the platelets from sticking together as well as easing inflammation inside of the blood vessels. So if you have an injury to inside the blood vessels, the platelets will stick to this area and cause a blockage of that artery. Grapefruit has been used to help us protect against fungus. Uh, we use it in many other ways to help us preserve other foods. Um, one of the things which we have found recently was you have to be very careful when using this when you are taking other chemicals. Uh, it seems to reduce the way chemicals are processed by the kidneys and possibly by the heart so that if you are on a large amount of grapefruit, you must be very careful in taking uh, cardiac drugs, otherwise it will build up in your system and you could explain. Jasmine oil is beneficial for cleansing and refreshing dry, toxic skin. It may have an effect by blocking uh, different hormones in the body to decrease damage from the sun. It may increase circulation by stopping blood vessels from sticking together. It's also used as a sedative, antidepressant, and aphrodisiac. Sandalwood is a scent uh, from the sandalwood tree that will have a, a long duration. Uh, it seems that this essential oil is not easily uh, taken up into the air and passed around. It's used frequently in perfumes. Uh, it's used in religious ceremonies uh, where it hopes to increase your awareness during a meditation. Uh, we use it in soaps uh, to actually control some of the bacteria that are on our skin. Tasmanian blue gum is used as antiseptic. Uh, people in Asia have used this as to treat skin infections. Uh, it will also relieve coughs and colds and uh, sore throats. We don't think of garlic as aromatherapy, uh, but we have found recently that its aroma uh, has been used more than just to repel vampires. We've used it and documented for 3,000 years before Christ. It was used to treat the plague. It was used to treat wounds in World War II. Recently, it's been shown to suppress the growth of cancers. We found that it will also reduce the amount of low-density lipoproteins, which is the bad cholesterol. We found that if we use uh, garlic drops in the ears, that for children who have ear infections growing up, uh, this can be used to not only relieve the pain from the ear infection, but also it seems to get rid of the bacteria also. It is heavily used in Indian medicine uh, because of this anti-inflammatory and antibacterial action. Uh, lemon oil is another oil that is out there. It is very uplifting. It also has anti-stress, anti-depressants. 
and can help with relaxation. Thyme oil uh, is also has some antimicrobial. Uh, we associate this with a lot of foods and uh, should be used more and more in different uh, ethnic cooking. Peppermint oil uh, can be used to aid in digestion. Uh, people who have cancer, people uh, in, in pregnancy have found that it reduces the nausea. It has other effects that can be used to deter ants by uh, putting a few drops on their trial, at trial as they enter your house. Uh, tea tree. It has been used to treat skin lesions. Uh, it seems to have an antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, and antiseptic qualities. Uh, because it hasn't been used very much recently, it seems to be a very effective in MRSA type diseases against uh, staph and strep. Uh, we use it to treat coughs and colds. Uh, we use it in different parts of the world to deter head lice from returning. So we put it in shampoos. Roly, uh, this is the bitter orange tree. Uh, Again, it is the blossom, not the orange itself, that is used here. Used in perfumes, 12% of all perfumes use it. Uh, some say it's part of the secret formula of Coca-Cola. It seems to relieve tension, anxiety, and increase the circulation. There's many other aromas out there, and I encourage everyone to um, go to different shops, recognize these aromas that are out there and see how the plants affect you in different ways. The question is, is uh, can it be toxic? Uh, we do know that if you use it in too high concentrations, it can irritate or even burn the skin. We know that uh, if used on the skin too, there is a chance that it, it can increase the way that the sun uh, burns your skin, so it has to be used very carefully when you go outside. Uh, of course, with pregnant women, there's always concern that it may affect the baby. Uh, the lavender tea tree may cause gynecomastia. Um, there are uh, other problems out there. Uh, the birch and wintergreen, you have to be careful when you take uh, an the anticoagulant ointment. You most of these you cannot take eternally. You have to be very careful about accidental eternal use. People have taken eucalyptus oil and destroyed their liver. So there are some safety concerns out there. Does it work? The National Cancer showed that it does relieve some anxiety. Uh, again, another report for them showed that there was some less nausea. Uh, Although it has not convinced the entire scientific community. Uh, the studies have varied. Uh, some are positive, some are negative, so we don't have a complete answer yet.